So this is how USPS treats my plant purchases, I guess, because this is how it came in. So I hope my plants are okay. Oh my gosh. Let's see what's happening in here. So hello everyone. I wanted to make my first actual video on this channel and I got in a shipment which is completely smashed. I guess USPS doesn't like to take care of <laughs> shipments. This is not the first one but hopefully my plants are okay. So today is just an unboxing of some plants that I ordered from the Green Escape on Etsy. I absolutely love that shop. Everything that I always get from them is always very healthy so yeah, but let me start off by letting you know, hello everyone, my name is Renee, and welcome to my channel. Um, let's start some unboxing. Okay, and everything is always very, like, well packaged. Um... So I finally decided to get my first cactus. So here it is. Let's open it. See if I can open this without, I have a crappy knife. Well, hold on. Hold on, I think it's like 25 years old. And it's here, it's here, I don't want to stop, 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 Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Oh. The pot is smashed. But <laughs> and some of these oh some of them are falling off, you guys. It's so sad. Like why can't people just take care of packages? Companies should be like more aware. Other than that, I mean Another one fell off here too. Oh, makes me sad. I guess what I'll do is just shove everything back in the soil and hope that it grows. But I'm going to put all these in the soil and in hopes that I can get me some growth out of all these because they still look pretty healthy. I'm going to put that to the side and everything else seems to be okay in there. It just needs to be like put back in the soil. So I'm definitely going to have to repot that. Um, okay, so this one is the velvet, is it Moriah? Moriah? <clears throat> So well, there's this one, it's an anthurium. It's so pretty. You know, I had ordered the silver blush and I was having, supposed to have that coming in and apparently they couldn't send that one to me because it didn't meet their standards. So I chose a red crystallinum um, and hoping that, that that one's okay. I've been trying to collect anthuriums and so yeah this one is nice and healthy though i do like it but anyways let's move on because i don't have much time um this cactus right here i forgot to tell y'all it is called i'm not too sure it is procumbens i can't say the name but i'll put it right here <laughs> okay so the next one is a is it vidar vid, vidar folium vidar folium vidar folium i'm awful with names i'm trying really hard with plant names i'm not used to saying them uh some of these are really hard for me to say so i i apologize if they come out wrong um, this one is another anthurium 
So here it is. It is also in very good condition, very healthy, very cute. And I'm excited to plant this. Okay. Number three. this one right here so if you do have some of these plants or if you don't here's the Jose I don't want to say the last but <laughs> Jose Bono Bruno Bro <laughs> I'm done anyway here's the Jose um, it's really healthy as well so there we have that one it's really pretty some variegation there. Okay. Here's the maculata. Let's get this one open. I want to tear it because I'm like, what if the leaf is up here and then I tear the leaf? I need to quit doing that. Okay. Let's see. Oh no, it did tear the leaves. That's because I opened it. Oh my gosh, look at that. I opened it and I didn't think it would do it if I did it like that and it still tore. My maculata, it's a begonia. I gotta go get scissors. You know when you get a present and someone just puts tons of tape all over it and you're just struggling to open it up. I feel like that's what's happening with this one. Just struggling to open it up. And all I want to do is see my plant. And it's like, open it fast. I try to take care of it and I still damage it. Oh my gosh. Be gentle, be gentle. All right. I am not a big fan of begonias, I have to be honest with you. Just because they seem like really sensitive plants. And I had a big, also, because I did have a begonia, I bought one and I just killed it. It died. As soon as it got into my home, it died. So, um, <laughs> I'm taking a risk with this because I'm not too sure, like, if I can keep this one alive. Although this one seems like a more easygoing one from what I've seen. So I'm hoping I can grow this one and keep it alive. Besides me already, like, destroying the two top leaves that were beautiful. Look at that. They were bent anyways, like it was a bent leaf. And So guys, what I noticed is that the actual begonia leaf was wrapped at the top and bent down. So whenever I did open it the way that I did, that's why it ripped. Grow this one to be a very pretty begonia. I have one already inside of my little greenhouse. So I'm gonna stick this in the greenhouse. I really don't wanna take it out of its little, its little container. I more than likely just leave it in this and stick it in the greenhouse and let it acclimate a little bit and then I'll move it into um, another pot, in like a three inch pot. <clears throat> um, this one is the Esqueleto. It's a non-TC Esqueleto. I uh, didn't know what that meant. I looked it up and I was like, oh, this apparently it's because it's not grown from a culture or so or something like that. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. But this one looks so pretty. Look at that. This one just reminds me of the Adansonii, but it's supposed to get bigger. And I love my Adansonii. It's doing really good. It's growing up its it's growing up its moss pole. So more than likely I'll be getting either no, I'll probably put this on a trellis and not a moss pole, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. I have... Let's 
mandula. It's a high variegated mandula. And this one should be a kind of small. Mandula. Oh, it's so tiny. And I knew this one was going to be smaller. Well, look at how tiny that is. It's so cute. It's going straight into my greenhouse. But these are the plants that I did get. I don't think I have anything else. I think the rest is paper. Make sure that I have everything here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I have them all. But these are some of the plants that I did get from the Green Escape. They are on Etsy. So if you are interested in wanting a good place to shop for plants, definitely recommend this a place. And I am not sponsored by them at all whatsoever. I just order from them all the time because they are a very trusted shop for me at the time. So I'm gonna try to put the rest in here really quick so I can need to go get my daughter from school. My dog is in there. I'm just trying to figure out like, which way they work. I can pretty much tell. Just them all in there together. There's one in there. Some of them just look like brand new babies. It's so sad. I don't know. They could have just put them in there. I don't know. Oh, nice. Okay. I always told myself I wasn't going to get a cactus. I was like, I don't want no cactus. I'm not interested in that. And then I'm telling you, I saw this one and I was like, oh my gosh, that one's so cute. And so I ended up getting it anyways. I'm trying to. I feel like they just grow everywhere and that's what caught me i think just how they grow i like how they're just like all over the place like my hair <laughs> so all right Putting a little bit more in there i think it'll be fine i think they're okay now look at some water in it and then set it under a light with all my other plants on the shelf and then head out and go back and do all these other ones so. but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and clean up and get all this done so i can go get my daughter from school i do want to thank you for watching all my mishaps <laughs> and watching this video if you do like my channel please feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button and i will see you in my next one bye y'all